Tuesday, the 13th of September. Come on. So today I want to talk briefly about a topic that sometimes I question myself and it's nice to remind me why do I vlog? I think I've nailed it down to three reasons. Beagle tent. Number one is quite simple. I enjoy it. When you enjoy something, you're much more likely to pick up the camera and actually do it because you enjoy it. And here's the ocelots. Look who I found. First, let me take a selfie. It's not a selfie. See that? Uh, it's Brandon and Ashley. Hi. I'm gonna go now. Okay. Right. See you guys. If you enjoy picking up a camera and videoing yourself for a vlog. You're gonna do it more often. What exactly do I enjoy? There's Bill. Where was I? What specifically do I enjoy about vlogging? I enjoy entertaining people. Hello, how you doing? I enjoy people saying hello because I just hold this camera and make videos. It's all, it's all enjoyable. Check out these tire marks. The cannibal cars left on the quay on Sunday. So I enjoy every aspect of vlogging. I enjoy the creativity, making something every day, sharing something with people every day, entertaining people, inspiring people. By picking up the camera, the visual aspect, making the tracks, I just enjoy everything about vlogging. It is, it just gives me so much. So yeah, I enjoy it, number one, point made. Point number two and as cocky as this may sound, I'm really good at it. Enjoying something and being good at it is like just everything you need in life to be able to do something and continue doing it to a high standard. If you're good at something and you enjoy doing it, amazing. I'm good at loads of stuff that I don't enjoy doing. I just don't do it because I don't enjoy it. No matter how good I am at something, if I can't enjoy doing it, why would you bother doing it? Another thing I enjoy, the look on people's faces when they see me holding the camera and talking to it. Amazing. Spiegel tent. Right, Brian, cheers. Thanks very much. Brian from the Spiegel tent. Tickets are selling really fast for the Spiegel tent, so I highly recommend you go and get your tickets now. Where was I with this video? I'm good at vlogging. I'm good at editing. I'm good at talking to the camera. I'm good at telling a story. At least I think I am. How can I not enjoy that? So yeah, I'm, go I'm good at it. I think I'm great, so I'm good at it. Point two. Point three, and it's the number one reason. The number one reason that I want to start, the number one reason I want to start doing this in the first place was to get my name out there more. Giving someone the option to find your music isn't just about writing music and recording music and uploading music anymore. You have to think outside of the box. This is my marketing, this is my PR, this is my way of proliferating the internet with the name Wolf. And I've had this thought myself a lot and I'm sure people probably think it. Would you not be better just focusing on pushing yourself out there in musical terms? Well, the vlogging and the music are now intertwined. You don't have one without the other. It's like love and marriage, as the song goes. With vlogging, what it has allowed me to do is it's opened up a huge array of opportunities that I wouldn't have otherwise got by just focusing on music. This is Wolf. I took the amount of energy I was putting into vlogging and putting into music solely. Would it have a greater impact on my music career than vlogging and focusing on music? As far as I'm concerned, no. There's no way I could reach the audience or reach me with the vlogging by solely focusing on music. The music gets dragged along. The vlogging starts taking off, it brings the music along with it. Wolf is a brand. Wolf is a personality. I'm Wolf, this is Wolf, and everything I put on the page that gets reacted to positively serves to help Wolf in the grand scheme of things. So, that's reason number three, marketing, PR. Um, where was I? You see, back in February of this year, I was looking at this thing I have, 
my music. But how do I get it out there? What's missing from this picture? And it was the audience. And I was thinking, how do I get to that audience? How do I build a fan base around my music? I decided to start doing a daily vlog. And since March 13th, the day I started vlogging, my content has been served to people over half a million times. Half a million opportunities for people to learn about Wolf, engage with Wolf, listen to a track, watch a vlog. And I just don't think there's any way that that number would have been half a million had I just concentrated on music in the last six months. That is why I will continue vlogging for the foreseeable future. Emily's home. Hiya. It's Tuesday, <laughs> which means it's date time. It's not what Tuesday means. Emily cracked the screen on her phone. Giant dog. Do you call it something party world? Emily's going to look in the window. Me and Emily like to treat ourselves on date night. <laughs> I'll have a curry chip. Oh, do you? <laughs> Defend the vlog watcher. This is a message for Megan. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. High five to you. I guess we don't need barbecue sauce because we have curry sauce. Can I get a barbecue dip as well, please? Yeah. See you, Megan. Never t shirt soon. <laughs>